Hello, my name is Darcy Noonchester and I'm the owner of Nourishing Way Center. So every week we're going to be talking about a different nutrition topic and this week's topic is on vitamin D. And there are many people around the world actually have a vitamin D deficiency and as a pro-hormone it helps regulate many different things, our cholesterol, our blood sugars, um, helps with inflammation, helps with um, autoimmune and autoimmune is a huge thing in the United States now. I'm not saying that vitamin D is going to um, be a cure-all for your autoimmune issue, whether you have MS or lupus or rheumatoid arthritis. Um, it doesn't cure it, but it definitely is going to help you. So if you're, and if you don't know your levels, I mean, I would definitely check with your doctor um, and see, you know, what your level is, if they're willing to do that. If not, we do nutrient testing in our office. We look at 34 nutrients, B vitamins. Um, so if you're stressed out and you're craving a lot of sweets, the B vitamins can be a culprit, but it doesn't mean just get a B complex because it might not fulfill that one B vitamin that you are truly deficient in. You're not deficient in all the Bs, maybe it's just one B. Um, same thing with vitamin D, it is the number one common uh, deficiency in the United States. So, and anything less than 30 as a level, your cancer risks are higher. So sometimes the doctor may say, well, you're okay, but they don't send you your lab results. So, and the range is 30 to 100, and I like it to be optimal around 70 to 80. So if your levels are coming back at 31, you may your doctor may say, oh, you're fine, you don't need to worry about it. Um, but to me, that's still low. Um, you don't want to be at 31. You want to be or, you know, in the more normal range. You don't want to be a low normal. Um, so that's why we look at the nutrient deficiency testing and see what actual deficiencies you do have. Um, everyone comes back with at least one, and vitamin D is a big one. Um, so, you know, and it, uh, based off of our foods that we eat, it doesn't mean that you're going to load up on a bunch of dairy because dairy can be inflammatory. And yes, vitamin D is in dairy containing foods, but it might be as little as 400. I might supplement with 10,000 a day or 1,000 a day. It just depends on what your needs are for your level. Um, and there could be a, also, if you don't absorb vitamin D, I've had patients come and the doctor's checking their vitamin D, it's not going up. Well, maybe there's a vitamin K insufficiency. Um, as you get older and getting over the age of 40, uh, you may not have a much vitamin K to help absorb the vitamin D. There's more than just a vitamin D that gets absorbed to help the structure of your bones or the structure of your walls in your house. It's not just drywall. You need insulation. You need the framing. You need the outside um, aluminum siding. You need all that to help that structure of that house. Same thing with your minerals, your magnesium, your selenium. All these things help the structure of your bones. So... Anyways, that is our talk for today, and I look forward to you uh, next week when we have uh, another discussion. And also, we do have weekly meet, or I'm sorry, I apologize. We have monthly meet and greets, which just means that we're going to be educating you also from another perspective to tell you what we do in our office. It's about a 45 minutes, so it's the second Tuesday every month, 6 to 7, and kind of give you a rundown of what we, how our office works. And it's free, no obligation. You bring a friend, and we look forward to working with you very soon.